Hi, I'm Jenny Edwards and this afternoon we're going to be talking about hope and particularly the hope that we have in Jesus. So it's about Christian hope. Well, I'm hoping that I, with continued treatment, that I feel much, much better yes. in the months and years ahead. Yes. And now that I've celebrated my big 8-0, that I can, can um, grow, grow old gracefully and with hope and uh, with joy in my heart at knowing Jesus and being able to move about in the community with a joyful heart. Oh, Romans 12 verse 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. That verse has been in my, not actually on my lips, but in my mind. Yeah. I've been praying about that. And particularly thinking of the middle phrase, patient in affliction. Mm. And I gave thanks that for most of my life I have been, I suppose, fairly well, mm. physically at least, um, and that when you are not well it is very hard to be patient because you think, I should be getting better, I should be getting yes. better. Well, I felt very unwell and uh, we, uh, we telephoned and a doctor came to the house and said that he wasn't sure what was wrong, but he thought that I should get medical help as soon as possible. And I said, well, I'll go to my GP in the morning. And he said, uh, I think you should go to Charlie Gardner Hospital now. Mm. And of course, you, when you go to outpatients, you have to wait a while. Mm. It was interesting that when I was finally in triage, that uh, when they diagnosed the shingles, they couldn't get rid of me fast enough because of course it's contagious. Yes. And so I was given medication, but I think it was too late. Yes. It didn't really mm -hmm. work very well. And uh, I, when I got home, I still felt very unwell. And uh, it did take quite, it took weeks to, to really, uh, for the pain to stop. Well, first of all, you've got big blisters mm. on the feet. And then I went through a very bad patch where I felt that I was being punished for all my sins and bad things I'd done. Mm. So I talked to one of the pastors and he said, Pastor Andre said, you must never think like that. That's, no. mm. Satan is, has really taken yeah. hold of you. Yes. And for whatever reason you've caught this, it's just a matter of going through it really. And the hope I had, I kept hoping and praying all mm. the time, hoping and praying that I would get better. Mm. Then I got a very bad, uh, eczema mm. and I um, went to a skin specialist and got treatment for that. That was fine and at the same time he said, oh, they'll have to come out or off and I went in a couple of weeks later and had three squamous cell carcinomas removed from my lower left leg and one became an ulcer mm. and that was, that really tested me. But when I think back on it, those days where I just sat in a chair or lay in the bed and really didn't do anything much. Mm. I just keep kept saying, Lord, hear my prayer. Oh. Lord, hear my prayer. And I wasn't didn't even pray for mm. anything, mm -hmm. but just Lord, hear my prayer. And I, I knew that I would get better in spite of having this big hole in my leg. Yes. Um, and the nurse, the silver chain nurse, was very encouraging because she said that some people um, have a hole in their leg for up to two years or more mm -hmm. or yes. for the rest of their lives mm -hmm. and after about four months it did heal yes. and I was very, very grateful, yes. oh, so grateful to the Lord. Yes. I, I really don't believe that when we believe in Jesus Christ that our lives will just be full of Joy, marvellous yes. joy. The families all lovey dovey, yeah. and everybody's <laughs> nice to each other, mm. and there's no snapping or yelling or <laughs> whatever. Yes. Um, and we are sent trials, mm. and um, yes. I often talk about the fact that most of my life I've spent on my own, um, 
without any family support or help mm. or mm-hmm. um, and sometimes and I always thought I was a pretty tough and strong and I mm. could manage but when looking back I didn't manage so well sometimes. Mm. I want to say that every morning I uh, ask Bill to when we sit for down for breakfast to take some time to give thanks for a new day mm. and I said look we messed the day up yesterday <laughs> and things but we've got a brand new day let's give thanks for that and our hope is uh, our Christian hope is that we will be able to serve, as you say, mm. uh, to live our life with Christ and uh, to do the right thing and to be encouraging and faithful and joyful. Not always, I find being joyful sometimes a bit hard, but I must say that when I was teaching and bearing in mind I was teaching adults who'd never been to school and that I, sometimes it was so hard for them to grasp the concept mm. that we would all just roar with laughter <laughs> and I think to be to be joyful is very important uh, to me to be steady and balanced and not anxious that's mm. very important to yes. me yeah, not yes. to be not to be anxious and to uh, have strategies of dealing with anxiety very important mm. help by the love of Jesus and my faith in the Lord and Jesus Christ.